There is nothing better than Minnesota in the summer. We've got our lakes, we've got all kinds of activities, we've got parks, and we have this wonderfully fun gentleman who is our patient today. So it's a short video, but he's a great guy and he wanted to wave at the end. So hang out and watch the patient say hello and uh, enjoy the video. We got it. Okay, hang on. Do you, how, how long have you had this? I don't even know I have this. <laughs> okay. Um, hi. Okay. Um, it would be a good idea to have that looked at by a doctor, especially if you haven't had it your whole life, because that can that could be a skin cancer. Yeah. So come in and see the doctor here during the week. Every day. I think they're here in the evenings. No, they here like Wednesdays. Tuesdays, Thursdays, okay. Fridays. So come in here when they're here and have someone look at that and make sure it isn't a skin cancer, okay? I don't mean to scare you. Some people. You know what? I have a skin cancer on my arm and they just took it off. It's not a big deal. Yeah, but they. But you don't want to let something know. like that go. Because if you get it taken off, they. Um, I mean, you have to get it taken off, or it, then it could be a big deal. Right. Yeah. If it is. Yeah, I mean, people die from skin cancer if they don't get it taken care of, so... Um, I really don't think it is, so because it's just only one spot. Right. It doesn't matter. I had one here that would look like that, not quite exactly. It was a little flatter, but he cut... It was like here, so he took a big... I don't see it. No, it's gone. He, he cut it out. That's the scar. Oh. Right. So, but, you know, he said you've got to get this off because, you know, who knows what it'll do if it'll invade into your body. Right. Yeah. And that's and that's the concern is if that happens. Um, so I'm just trying to scare you a little bit so that you'll make sure that you come in and let the doctor look at that. Sure. You know what, Dia? We have lived in the sun for so long, all of us. And people now, they just go to the skin doctor yearly and just get checked and they're always getting something taken off because there's always something growing on our bodies. And it's just the way of the world now. Yeah. Where did you grow up? Africa. Sudan. Sudan? So you had a lot of sun. A lot. Right. Way too much. And nothing covering the top of your foot probably, a lot of barefoot, right? Yeah, and people tend to think that African, you know, African or African American people with dark skin can't get skin cancer, but they can, and this is what it might look like. So, yes. but you know what? It doesn't hurt to have it taken care yeah. of. I'm not saying it is. I'm saying no. Okay. I, I understand what you say exactly. Okay. All right. How many years have you been in the U.S.? Too many. <laughs> Too many. Now, Sudan, is there language Sudanese or is there a different language or do you have English there? Actually, English is our second language, but our first language is Arabic. We oh, speak it is. Arabic. Okay. Arabic, but English is our second language. So, do you, do you learn that in school then? Yeah. You do? Yes, we do. We learn English in school. It's a must. So if anybody goes to visit the Sudan, they would not need an interpreter, probably. Yeah, most people speak English in Sudan, but there is not too many people also go to school. Mm -hmm. Oh, as a, really? So they might not be. You will find people not speak English. Mm -hmm. But most, most of the educated ones speak English. How is everything over there right now? Are they struggling with drought and all of that stuff? They struggle all the time. Yeah. 
they say that we're going to have food shortages here and if we have struggles here the world struggles because we are so used to giving things to the world yes so I'm it's, 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 they, if they, I'm they talk, the struggles yeah. Is the they whole talk world about the whole yes and that there's going to be so many millions starving yeah. already i guess in I did okay. for a, about a minute or whenever okay. we were talking. Okay. All right, so this should be a lot more comfortable now. Yeah. You've actually got pretty nice feet. Okay, we're going to give you some socks. We can get ankle socks or a little higher crew. Yeah. What would you like? Doesn't matter. Whatever you get. Did you did you want to wave to everybody? You said. No, well, on camera, did you want to? All right, there you're in. Hi, everybody. The crew did a, for a good job. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for letting us do the video. Thank you very much.